Have I seen a pineapple girl? Grow. 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 No. They're the coolest plants. Very inefficient. Yeah? They grow like one, they grow like one fruit every two years. They're, they're a little spiny bush, and they produce one pineapple right at the top, and then they're done. That's funny because Corbin's mom has a spiny bush. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Ranks of the Units. I'm Corbin. I'm Stephanie. And today we are on to episode four, uh, getting right through this thing, of Made in Heaven. Uh, This one's called The Prince of Love. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Sorry, the price of love, not the prince. Dyslexia. Uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah, the uh, the price of love. Uh, could be talking about numerous things, uh, <laughs> I suppose. Well, I, I know the going rate in Amsterdam is pretty low right now. They've got good bargains out there. <laughs> we'll see what happened with Kalki and... Uh, your mom has to charge higher rates because of her spiny bush. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so terrible. We, she is a lovely woman. We, uh, we, uh, we'll see what happens with Kolki and the, uh, the unfaithful husband. The adulterer? Oh, I think one of them's dead. No. I yeah. don't think so. Yeah. You think so? Oh, yeah. Yep, one of them's dead. I think it's probably going to be Kalki. Also, I feel like this uh, last episode was the only happy one we're going to get. <laughs> well, leave it to the older couple to give you true love. Anyways, uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, I can only use five minutes of cut-up footage of each episode. So, if you'd like to see the full uncut episode reactions, you can have it to Patreon. I'll link our Patreon in the description below and in the pinned comment in the comment section thank you to all of our beautiful patreon babies they've seen this days if not weeks before you uh so thank you so much all right let's get into this great it's always fun to get the messages from i always know when you put it on patreon Mm -hmm. because i get messages on instagram that say saw your reaction to like instantly (laughs) yep all right three Two, one. The other passenger, I'm afraid, wasn't quite so lucky. She's the one to take the impact. There's internal hemorrhage. The other passenger? Was in the same crash? Yes. She needs surgery. We've been waiting for a go ahead. Fuck. Well said. Officer, I'm not saying the gifts have to be expensive. I'm just saying they need to exist. Yeah. Stop shouting, will you? Mercy, guys, guys. Exactly what I was gonna say. Stay strong, Jazz. Uh, Pakka return kar sakte hai na? Yes, ma'am. Within eight days. Uh, bus tag mat nikali ho, please. Okay, thank you. Welcome. No. Oh, wow. Oh, now she's a good person, so she's blaming herself for having set it up and not seen it, and blah. Don't blame yourself. Different yeah, reasons. Uh, hai, sir. Uh, baat kar rahe hai, ke liye. Se baar hai. Get off the car, sir. It's too bad. We almost got arrested. And it's my second day here. Nothing happened. Hey. Now dump him. Do it. Sister. Take a take a picture. I want to see her pour a urine sample in his mouth. He's asking for water. Yes, what is it? They went to Nimrana to plan a surprise party for me. Why are we covering for him? For what will others think? The same thing everything yeah. else has been about. Oh, you are. It's irrelevant. You used our credit card. It's theft. No, sir. Please, I will never do this again. I'm sorry, Jazz. You'll have to go. I love the different weddings we've seen too, yeah. the different kinds of weddings. 
घर का फर्स्ट फ्लोर विशाल के अकाउंट में दो करोर और बारात अंदर बिल्कुल हाँ आंटी पर सारे गेस्ट आ चुके हैं वेडिंग इज बिगन Tell them two crores, but no floor of the house. Well, if there is no house, only then the barat will end. Unbelievable! It's still a concept that is, I just don't understand. The Can't whole, even begin to fathom the whole. What's it called? The down. About just enough cheating, lying, and BS. That she- my parents have asked four crores dowry from my parents. Please, please listen. Please, please. There will be no fears. I'm not going to pay anyone to marry me. Good for you. Well done. Takes a spine right there. Moral compass is strong with that one. Shattered <laughs> <laughs> right, centuries of patriarchy. One tiny moment of courage. That's all it took to show up the chauvinist hidden deep in this supposedly progressive Indian man. Wow. One of our statement. women don't deserve this. Our women. Are better than this. Yes. And if they only believed that, to stand up and walk tall, and like you, may they never cease to amaze. The groom asked for dowry and tried to blackmail the bride's family. She stopped the fairs, told them to fuck off, and left. I don't believe Faiza went to Nirvana looking for property, and I don't believe she called you. I'm really sorry that I got caught. Yeah, that I got caught. Exactly. I adore you. Shut up. You know that. Zoya? Actually, I don't know if that was Zoya, actually. I'm sorry if I'm giving credit to well, the wrong... Well, she's writing it. Is she... Did she... Is this the one that she didn't direct, or was the last one that she didn't direct? The last two she didn't direct. They're being directed by one of the executive producers, but she writes all of them. There's three writers for all of them. Hold on. Uh, special thanks. Live assistance. Who's it directed by? Give me the director. I'm sure I can look it up. That's what the internet's for. Fantastic episode, by the way. Uh, great episode. Yeah, it was good. Great episode. Uh, shout out if she, if she was either the writer or the director of this one. Um, she wrote it. She didn't direct it. It was Nitya, the executive producer, who directed the last episode. Okay. Um, but one. But she's like writing them all. Just like I writing. said, when this was made homosexuality was illegal in India. And this, uh, we've seen a few things that touch on LGBTQ stuff, but nothing this in terms of just realistic, graphic almost. Uh, Like, I don't give a I don't give a shit about your sentiments. I'm I'm telling a story and this is a story and if you don't like it, tough. I love it. I think it's great. Uh, I think that (laughs) this will challenge people if they are willing to watch it to deal with what they're prejudiced or uncomfortable with and I, I think that's fantastic one of the strongest moments in the episode I think you'll agree is the end of the wedding obviously when she when she 
walked out of the wedding and that statement that the the cameraman was going over that was that they was basically shots fired essentially uh that was fantastic what'd you guys think i i with the first two episodes i was very concerned about (laughs) this ride but these last me too now you're more excited so there you go excited yeah yeah (laughs) yes Um, the last two episodes have been very good very like as far as like people owning their crap standing up for themselves coming into who they should be all of those things so i'm excited i'm excited yeah I don't know if you should be excited because yeah, I mean, there's there's probably going to be some bad stuff coming. I mean, yeah, for sure. Uh, in terms of be. sad stuff, in terms of stuff that is just probably not uh, our moral compass is not pointing in north, if uh, if you know what I'm saying, in some stuff. But definitely uh, not. What do you think? I like or? all the things that are being pulled out to the surface. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, the great thing is, in the past two episodes, we've seen some people who have a moral backbone. We've seen some things that are depicted that should be done the, the, the proper, loving, kind, compassionate ways. And it's, it really has taken a turn, whereas the first two episodes, I you know, agree with Stephanie, it was like, what are, are we just going to be watching something that's just going to be showing these people are crappy and it's going to be like a soap opera? But these past two episodes have turned it, it's grown into really what a lot of great art is. It's holding up a mirror to society and showing it its blemishes and its warts and it's showing it its beauty and uh, uh, yeah I've gr- I've gone from realizing it was artistically good but not really being excited about it to now I'm really looking forward to the next episode I'm really enjoying this now yeah it's it's fantastic yeah. uh, writing fantastic. obviously by Zoya and directing of the last two episodes if it's um, uh, who, whoever you said um, I believe the first name is Nitya I want to look it up. Nitya, N I T Y A. Also listed as an exec producer. Uh, why can't I see who directed each episode? Details, maybe? Uh, there's just. Is it not showing it on IMDb Pro? Uh, I'm not on IMD- IMDb right now. Uh, I will, though. I'll go right oh. now. Uh, INDB. Um, I'm hoping that our our lead actress, who's doing a fantastic job, mm-hmm. uh, I think she's she's killing this role. Every, uh, um, but I'm hoping that she's gonna dump his ass and not go back because her last line to him was what I'm trying to have your baby, right? Yeah. And I don't know what that means. I'm yeah. also <laughs> interested to see what was in the box she left. On the mm-hmm. She left something on the window. She yeah, did. I didn't see that. She did. Um, but wasn't it? It's probably the bracelet, huh? Maybe. Was it the green box that he gave her with the big diamonds that she brought to the the shop? Uh, Don't know. Okay. Just Thanks. A box. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the, <laughs> it was a box. Thanks. For but the yeah, everybody is uniformly. There isn't one weak link in this ensemble not one uh yes that uh, this one was directed by nitya mira mira uh what was she doing in life of pi sorry nitya. she must have been an actress or something I don't know. She was involved in the life of Pi in some sort. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I I really enjoyed this episode, uh, and that that there was a lot of highlights in this one. Uh, yeah. But I, I really enjoyed that moment at the at the the wedding because I didn't think that groom knew, and then he, he well he maybe he didn't know but he was okay with it. I or think did, he knew. But she you think said, he knew? She said you agreed to this. Which is so strange to me. I still don't understand. And I'm hoping that's that's dying out, hopefully, with the current generations and more people being in, quote, love marriages, unquote. Uh, you know, we can just call those marriages uh, in the future. Um, but the, the whole dowry thing is... 
makes no sense to me. Yeah, there's a great there's a great movie about the progression of relationships and love of, that go from tradition to relation called Fiddler on the Roof. I don't know if anybody's seen <laughs> that, but um, it does point out that there are things that are antiquated that a lot of the rest of the world has progressed away from and looked at marriage far more than just an institutional economic transactional affair and seen it for just two people in love. Yeah, and I think that that's what the, the the videographer was basically saying in that narration. He's like, our women are better than this. Yeah. Are they? Do, yeah. They're smarter than this. They're like, yeah. What are, what are we doing? <laughs> um, so I yeah I love and you could tell this this show was written and directed by women um, a, a thousand percent. And also, what's our little girl there doing at the end? Who was that guy? <laughs> What, what, I can't remember her name. What's her name? Jazz. Jazz. Sorry. Like, I'm having a brain fart. Jazz and um, Yeah, like, was this like a old boyfriend that she was trying to get over, and then she just went back because she was, she was sad and needed somebody, needed to be with someone? But I, I it shocked me because I was like, I thought this was a little innocent jazz. Yeah, I was and, not expecting that she's, from her at she's, all. She's in there doing it with a mechanic. <laughs> Well, that's one of the things I like about what they're representing with the people is they're showing the, and it's what makes them believable, is they're showing how they're come, the complexity, just someone as simple as the character of the guy with the camera, who you think is setting the camera up so that he can call the guy out for his heinous act and protect his daughter and support his wife, when he's really a peeping Tom, and he's getting off on watching the, the two guys have sex. Mm -hmm. and. But everyone else thinks he's the upstanding guy, but really he's secretly, he's got, you know, everybody seems to have, um, it's like for one of my favorite things about the show Deadwood is Andrani and I say, our favorite thing is it's a show about, if we were to encapsulate, it's a show about broken people. Mm. And it, it evidences that there's nobody who gets it right. Everybody screws up in some way. Everybody's got a, something, something in their closet. Everybody's going to do something wonderful and someone's going to do something awful. And I'm I'm really liking that we're now kind of balancing it because in the first two episodes, everybody was just being awful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you kind of had to set up the world, I guess. Yeah. Um, and you had to yeah. get there uh, to get to where we are. But obviously, we still have five episodes left of, of stuff excited. we have to get to. Um, but yeah, it's really well well written in terms of I mean, I guess we used that a lot in the first two. Every character was very gray, and I guess you could still say that everybody has their thing, yeah. uh, which is true. Everyone has, everyone has their things. Some are worse than others, but uh, everyone has their things and their their breaking points and stuff that they're willing to do uh, for whatever sake. And then they have so many different side stories, like the the wonderful character of the one that's trying to get a raise. And it's you. It's perfectly yeah. understandable that she's trying to get a raise. It's yeah. like you don't blame her for yeah. trying. Like, <laughs> yeah. And it's understandable that they are in a position to not give it to her right now. So mm -hmm. you, you, it's really wonderfully uh, complex. Yeah. Anything yeah. else? I am excited. <laughs> From the peanut gallery. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I, by the time you watch this on YouTube. Uh, uh, we will have already seen more episodes, so you can put spoilers, but you shouldn't because other people haven't watched it. Um, but uh, on Patreon, you know, you don't put spoilers, so thank you. Um, on to the next episode! <laughs>